Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to my moving vlog. It's been a long time since I've vlogged in general, but I'm super excited this week to vlog because I've just gotten the keys and moved into a one bedroom apartment here in Sydney. My partner and I are moving in together for the first time. So we're just very excited and getting all set up in here right now. We don't have the exact size of the apartments, but we think it's something like 60 to 65 square meters. So quite spacious for one bedroom in the city and we are just completely in love with the space. We've pretty much moved in all the furniture we own. So I own this table and this is eventually gonna go into the study on the right. And then other than that, we've got a couple of chairs which we recently bought. And we also got our mattress delivery this morning. The rest of our belongings are pretty much here right now. And you can kind of guess that we have a lot of stuff that we do need to purchase because a sofa, a TV, for example, would be great to own. I've got these little teacups, which I'm bringing from home. I thought it would be nice when we had people over, but they're also kind of cute to use if we are looking to drink just a tiny, tiny bit of tea. They're very small. Wine glasses. I thought I'd quickly mention, since I'm wearing shoes in the house, um, it's not exactly clean here yet, so still wearing shoes until we're properly moved in. But while I'm at it, I might as well show you my outfit today. I'm just wearing this navy knit on the inside, this cashmere uh, vest. And then if I'm going out, I'll probably throw on this blazer. The bag I'm using today is this one. It's the Osoy bag, which is a Korean brand. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, so let me know if I'm not. But it looks like Osoy. I like that it adds a little bit of pattern and texture to my look which is very woolly and very simple today. I feel like I've been running around kind of like a headless chicken, just deciding what's the most important thing to do. But I'm gonna sit down here, I'm gonna fill out my condition report, which I think is important. And then I'm also gonna order some essentials that we need around the place. Things like towels, things like, you know, even looking for a sofa, so we can start to comfortably live here. So that's what I'm gonna do for the next hour or so. And then I'm gonna start cleaning up a little bit more. I'm kind of done with the admin stuff, but I wanted to quickly show you my mood board actually. I've got my living room kitchen mood board. I've got a separate bedroom one and then I've got a bathroom one. So I've gotten very specific here because I feel like homewares is such a big commitment. Once I buy it, I really do want to keep it for a very, very, very long time. So everything just has to be right. It's somehow already 3.30 today, so I'm just gonna clean up a little bit now and then maybe duck out and start browsing for some things. I'm deciding to move things to where they should be and these are some mid-century vintage tables which I got about six months or a year ago from the Blue Mountains area. I'm gonna put on a video from Paige Wassell. She's one of my favorite YouTubers and she talks about interior design which I feel like would be perfect as I'm cleaning this space. I find her advice really valuable. I really like her eye and her design. I like that she's quite blunt with her advice on what she loves, what she hates, and it's just interesting to hear. So, putting her on now. It's a pulse and shove. It's a sharpest cry. The head goes bit wide. We're planning for these stools to be fairly functional where we can take them and then go sit out on the balcony in them or we can just take these and put them around the dining table when we have our dining table as additional seating. There could also potentially be one of these in the bathroom for additional stuff that we don't have space for. I think they'll be useful and I do like the colour, it's a little bit fun.
Hi everyone, it's the next morning now and I'm just about to put these into the wash but I wanted to quickly show you what I chose out for bedding. I'm obviously in my old room now, I'm still sleeping here because we don't have things ready in the apartment yet and I also set up my old bed in here because I do plan on coming home on Saturdays and Sundays to stay over here. For bedding, I wish I showed some restraint when I was opening it because it was packaged up quite nicely before I, you know, savagely took everything out. I feel like what little interior style I have is very similar to my clothing style where everything is a bit mixed and matched. These are the cushion covers I chose out. We've got a red and khaki green floral on a black base or a charcoal base. The bedding on the other hand is this really wide blue and white stripe. I really like the width of the stripe. I feel like a lot of bedding has really thin pinstripes but the wider stripe just feels a bit more statement and dramatic. This is from a local Australian store in Paddington, but you can probably find very similar things on Etsy, and I've seen very similar things. I'm gonna go throw these in the wash now and hopefully bring them to my apartment soon. I just got some parcels from downstairs and I'm going to sit on our new sofa and unbox it with you. Basically, it's a lot of my kitchen stuff and plates and cups and things like that. Plates and cups and things are all very exciting for me and I'm just praying that they're not broken from the delivery. So, putting you down here and I'm just gonna go get the boxes. This is going to be a longish unboxing just because I did get quite a few things for the kitchen. The first items in the parcel are these mugs. These are Hasami porcelain mugs. And I got two, one for me, one for my partner, as our main tea coffee mug. I don't know if you can hear that sound, but that's probably my best way of describing the texture. It's a rough texture and it doesn't feel like it's been overly glazed. This is a very luxurious mug, not because of necessarily the way it looks, though it is very sleek but more the way that it feels and the material used I think is very special. They've been making pottery pieces in the town of Hasami for over 400 years and I just feel like the tradition and the craftsmanship of these is something very, very special. I'm gonna put these in the cupboard now. Well, I'm gonna give them a good wash in the sink and then cup it. I got myself a new tumbler from Kinto because my partner actually dropped and smashed my old one. But this one I feel like is good because it actually is meant to keep your drink hot. I always like to be out and about with a drink for whatever reason. So instead of buying morning coffees all the time, buying teas all the time, I'm just going to try and make it myself and bring it with me when I go out. I also want to show you these two cups that I bought the other day. I got one in a blue stripe, one in a pinky coral stripe and I just really love stripes in general. Stripe anything, I just love. My cup collection now is basically this, this and then those teeny tiny teacups I showed before. Parcel number two now, which is the main one. This one is from End Clothing, who are based in the UK but they stock a lot of Scandinavian brands and I just really love browsing there for lifestyle homeware products. This is really one of the most stunning bowls I've ever seen in my life. Um, this one is from Hay and it's their soft eye cereal bowl. This one's made from an enameled steel and I thought it would be obviously good for cereal, otherwise for fruit and for any snacks um, that we may eat. In the same family of products, I also have this enameled cup and this one is from a brand called Born, which is based in Turkey, I believe. That is very satisfying. I thought I would sit here because the sunlight is just so beautiful and I actually haven't seen the sun a lot in this apartment yet. It's been a rainy few months, um, so it's nice to get a little bit of sun. So these plates are from HK Living. They do a lot of 70s inspired tableware things and I just decided to go with something very simple for our first plates. Design wise, I think it's a fairly simple plate. It's got a nice texture to it. Um, the back is actually <laughs> 
more interesting to me than the front. I like that they're not totally flat. They kind of come up a little bit on the sides, which makes them, you know, just a little bit easier to use. And they're quite big. They're definitely the biggest plates I've owned, which is good because my partner eats, um, like, a lot. The next item is this chopping board, and it's bright blue on one side, light blue on the other. I think the idea is that you can kind of separate the things you cut. So, for example, raw on one side, cooked on the other. But to be honest, I just got it because I like the color scheme and I thought it would look nice just hang, just leaning against the kitchen counter. I also got this light blue dish drainer and of course there's a rack that you put on where you can slot your plates in. I saw this years ago on Estee Lalonde's channel. I am a huge fan of hers. And years ago, I saw this feature on her channel and I always knew that when I moved to my own place, I would get one of these. A couple of years on my wish list and it is finally here. A lot of the items here were definitely a little bit more of a splurge and not that this justifies it really but I do prefer to decorate with things that I use so with cups and bowls and even things like a chopping board along the kitchen counter as opposed to things that are purely decorative like vases and I don't know like little knickknacks that you put onto a table. It's just my preference which is why I feel like I'd rather spend more money here than on those decorative little things. For the practical utensils, which I don't have here, I'm leaving it to my partner because he's much better at finding a good deal. There's a cutting board looking very cute. And then we've got the dish drainer and the dishes. So with the white marks on the bench top, this isn't dirt. This is actually damage from the previous tenant. I have no idea what the people before us did to the countertop, but my God, it is. Um, yeah. We're floating through the atmosphere We light up by a feather Soaring into space I just packed down a bunch of boxes and took it to the recycling room But I'm actually gonna head out again because I have a couple of things on my list to get from Muji and maybe even Daiso I want to go to a Daiso that is kind of far from my apartment It's like a 45 minute walk so I'm trying to decide whether I'm bothered to walk that today. I've been incredibly slow at buying everything we need, just because everything I buy, I do a lot of research into, and then I shop around for it, and then I look at all the options, and it's just not that possible. So I'm trying to be a bit faster, but heading to Dice, heading to Muji now, and then probably Ikea and uh, maybe Costco tomorrow. On my way out, I just wanted to point out that I cleared a bunch of boxes and just random junk over there. And the space is starting to look a lot cuter and a lot cleaner. I haven't done much, I just shoved it into that corner, but it still looks a lot better. We actually decided to put the couch here last night and we wanted to create a little TV nook here. So the TV against that wall, maybe some seats on either side. If we do the seats, this will go back a little bit but we just felt like by putting the TV there and then the couch there, they were too far apart. And then it also blocked off a lot of the view, which is mostly construction, but we didn't want to do that. So we just thought we'll put it here for now and see how we go. I am actually leaving now. You're jumping on the first bus. Don't need no one to save us. We're pulling up the curtain. Covers this blue sky. Who oh, tell me can you feel? We float in the air. I got my Muji stuff, and I guess I'll show you what I got. I feel like it's getting very boring just me pulling out kitchen supplies, but it is what I've been up to this afternoon pretty much, just unboxing kitchen things and buying kitchen things. I went to Muji to get my partner this glass bottle. I got us two bottles of Muji tea. I know we're gonna be moving things around all day tomorrow, so I'm gonna be moving my clothes and stuff over, so I feel like we're gonna need some refreshments. I got a little spray bottle for my plants when I move my plants over. Some kitchen towels. I feel like these towels are just cute. You know, it's got the red and the blue overlocking. I got this little tub, which I thought would just be handy. It's on the small side, so I'm also looking for a slightly bigger one as well for laundry and for the kitchen and for whatever. I got a portable razor for my eyebrows. Um, I've never used one of these. I also got a pack of two elastics. 
I feel like you can probably get these anywhere, but Muji quality is usually pretty good. I was there, so I thought I'll pick these up. I feel like this little black thing is just marginally cuter than a scrunchie. So I'm gonna try and use these from now on. I think I'm done for now. I'm just gonna be a potato on the sofa for a little because in about an hour, hour and a half, I'm actually meeting my mum to go to Vivid Sydney and I had to search up what Vivid actually is. It's an annual festival of light music and ideas. So tonight's the first night and I'm excited to go check it out with my mum. <laughs> Hi everyone, good morning. I spent my first night at this apartment yesterday and I've just gotten up, gotten ready and we're gonna head out to our local supermarket to grab a couple of things for breakfast. This is my quick outfit for now. I've just thrown on a couple of my favorite go-to things. So the blue skirt, this white cardigan and then because it's all very wooly, I've just used this bag and it's probably what I'm gonna wear today as well. Yeah, we need some grocery shopping bags. This is our breakfast for this morning. We're so excited about these. What are they? Cheese chive triangles. There is so much peace here. We're floating through the atmosphere. We light up that a feather. Soaring into space. Cause I know that you see the world so small from here. That was honestly such a good breakfast. Um, but after this, I'm going to start packing away all my clothes and my bags and my shoes. I moved that over last night and finally going to start filling up the wardrobe space. I've got honestly like four boxes of stuff I need to put away. So that's probably what I'll be doing today. But first, I'm gonna dig into my blueberry muffin. Let me actually show you the wardrobe space. So we've got three wardrobes. You might be able to see it better if I move further away. And the two on this side are mine, the one on that side is my partner's. It's really a decent amount of space, I feel like it's very comparable to my old place. And I feel like my stuff is going to fit fairly comfortably. The way I'm storing everything is that all my tops and my jackets are going to be on this side of the wardrobe. I've got my bags up there. And then underneath, I've got knitwear as well as underwear and accessories and things like that. And then in this drawer, or in this wardrobe, I'm going to have all my skirts, pants, and probably dresses hanging here. Obviously, if things don't fit, then we'll get stuffed into the other one. But for now, I think this will probably work. Other than my knitwear, which will go into those drawers, I've also got my skirts left to unpack, but I'm just gonna leave that for another day. This is what the wardrobe's looking like right now. Belts, all my tops, my blazers, jackets, coats. I've got my dresses all here. I feel like my dress collection is definitely downsized a lot. Um, I've got my trousers, denim, shorts, but I do have a ton of midi skirts to slot into <laughs> this section here. 
All of these drawers are empty for now. I don't really know what to put in them yet, but I feel like my knitwear will probably not fit into those and flow over to here. It's Sunday afternoon now, around 4 o'clock, so I want to finish editing this vlog and then I'm going to get ready to go out with my friends for a bit of a dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's been a long time since I've vlogged, but I did really enjoy filming what I did this week. Have a great week ahead and I'll see you next one. Bye.